Hello everyone, this is Devang here and welcome to another episode in my series of Costology. Costology is my series of short videos where we talk about various interesting terms in my subject of costing. Yeah. So my term for today is a comparison between two main, two main concepts. It's a comparison between the two concepts that is planning variance versus operating variance. This is a part of your chapter number 11. That is a standard costing variance calculation and you know standard costing chapter is a continuation from your CA intermediate level right but this concept is a new concept especially for CA final level right so many concepts in a standard costing were continuation from your CA intermediate level but this concept is a new concept especially for CA final level so that makes this concept even more important what exactly is planning variance versus operating variance see normally variance means what you've learned what does variance indicate variance or any type of variance is basically standard minus actual standard cost minus the actual cost is called as the variance this indicates the mistakes that the company has done now why do you calculate variance you calculate variance for the purpose of cost control yeah you calculate variance for the purpose of cost control in short you calculate variance which indicates your mistake and next year you try to control that mistake so the purpose of calculating any variance is to identify mistakes and control that mistakes in the next year however all mistakes are not possible to control all mistakes are not actually my mistakes so we split the variance in two parts every such variance can be split in two parts called planning variance and operating variance now when will planning variance come into picture well planning variance will come into picture if the change from standard to actual is not entirely my fault let's say standard price let's say the standard price was a 10 rupees per kg for the material actual price of the material turns out to be paid 15 rupees per kg so this means that i have paid 5 rupees extra price i paid extra 5 rupees ka price that is my mistake that is because i was not able to negotiate a good price i was not able to stick to the price which i had estimated so this 5 rupees indicates my mistake who am i i am the purchase manager i am the operating staff of the company so normally any variance that you incur normally whenever extra cost is incurred this extra cost is blamed on whom this extra cost is blamed on the operating staff of the company operating staff means the employees who handle the routine day-to-day -day operations purchasing is handled by the purchase manager so extra price paid is blamed on the purchase manager production is handled by the production manager so extra quantity consumed is blamed on the production manager yeah these are the operating staff of the company so normally any such extra cost incurred it is blamed on the operating staff however isn't it possible that maybe this extra price paid is not entirely my fault my estimated standard was a 10 rupees actual price paid was 15 rupees but by the time i paid the actual price listen to this by the time i paid actual price of 15 at that time the market price of that material the market price of the material at that time was itself 13 rupees so don't you see that out of the increase from 10 to 15 the increase from 10 to 13 is because of the increase in the market price and the remaining increase is because of my mistake. Yeah, if the market price was a 13, but you paid 15. So your mistake is only that you paid extra 2 rupees. Remaining 3 rupees extra paid is not your mistake. That 3 rupees extra paid is whose mistake? This 3 rupee extra paid is not your mistake. It is not anybody's mistake. It is because of the increase in the market price. This 3 rupees extra paid is called as a planning variance. 
this three rupees extra paid is called as planning variance this is extra paid because of your plan went wrong because your estimate went wrong not that your actual was wrong but because your estimate went wrong because estimate went wrong due to external factors now that's where my difference lies planning variance is the difference between standard and revised standard so for example it's the difference between is the difference between standard price estimated at 10 and the new market price revised standard of 13 right while operating variance is the difference between revised standard 13 and actual 15 yes so this 3 rupees extra paid is called planning variance and this 2 rupees extra paid is called as operating variance right planning variance indicates variance that is not due to the fault of the operating staff it is not due to the operating staff car fault it is due to what well it is due to external factors or due to management fault because of external factors market price has increased to 13 because of management fault the estimate of 10 made was wrong yeah but that is not the fault of the operating staff but market price being 13 while you paid 15 this is clearly the fault of the operating staff this variance indicates the variance that is due to the fault of the operating staff it is because of inefficiency of the operating staff the purchase manager was inefficient that he could not negotiate a good price that is your operating variance so generally operating variances are considered as controllable it is controllable by the operating staff while planning variants are generally not controllable at least not controllable by the operating staff then this is the difference and this difference is very important why because yaad karo, the purpose of standard costing was to do cost control well, if the purpose of standard costing was to do cost control you know that you are not gonna be able to control you are not gonna be able to control the planning variance so what you can do is you'll try to control the only operating variance it is necessary to separate operating variance because this is what you're going to be able to control done yes that's my difference between planning variance operating variance i hope you understood the difference and i hope you enjoyed this short video we'll be coming up with more videos later on soon until then bye bye thank you very much